So, we have Agumon now. Now, I want to give a long introduction, and I want to show you their face, and I want to I want to show you what they can do. I want to show you everything, even though you might know what Agumon looks like. You might already know everything about Agumon, especially in the virtual pets, but you know what? I can't do that even if I wanted to, because we're going for a specific evolution route here that requires us to make 50 victories. Now, on paper, that does seem like a lot, but if you think about it, each area in the arena only has three opponents, right? So that's going to be however many you need to get that. So like eight, 18, three times. Look, it's one of those days where I woke up and I can't make sentences even. It's you ever just wake up and have it have like a, a cloudy, foggy headed kind of day. Okay, so yeah, I literally have to look up what 50 divided by three is right now. You can judge me, but like I'm not going to be affected by it. Okay, so like 17 times just to be safe. Um, we can also go down here and look in recode and we can see that we have 112 out of 118. Not not bad, really. Not bad as far as like a, a lifetime record of achievement and all that, but it does mean we need to at least get 162. I'm gonna get 163 over on this left side just to be safe for them to evolve. And I, I, I am rushing though, right? Because they're just rookie. The, the time between rookie and champion isn't that big. So we do have to move quickly. So why don't we go ahead and just do that right now? Let's just knock out all 50. I don't know, I guess we'll just start at area seven. Why not? I'm just going to interrupt this time lapse to point out that I love the way Agumon T poses before they attack. I, I know it's supposed to be this big macho thing, but like, my goodness. Also, I don't know if we can take on Tailmon. Pr pretty sure there's still a champion in this device, yeah? Whew! Well done. Okay, uh, surely that's ha that has to have been like f six of them. Yeah, okay, like we're vaguely halfway-ish there, aren't we? Not bad. So I'm sure you noticed that as soon as Agumon hit level four, they started showing their big face at the beginning of their moves. We're also supposed to get their effort up to full, uh, so it's not just 50 victories, but you know, I guess let's just go ahead and show you formally, even though you might've seen it during the time lapse. All right, T-pose to a big dramatic lighting. Did you see that angle? Oh, that was so dramatic. Agumon, you just make me feel so nostalgic. And I guess that's why you sell things, right? That's why that's why you sell V-Pets and, and shirts and all that. Much to the chagrin of a lot of the deeper fans, but you know, he's just a good, good mon. Okay, we're at 155 out of 163 victories that we need for me to feel pretty sure that we've got our 50 out of 50. But I would like to actually try to get these last ones uh, with some online codes. I'd actually like to see if anyone sent in any rookies. I, mostly people send in megas, but I, I swear, I think there are a couple rookies up there. Okay, it looks like we don't have any uh, just child level Digimon in the submissions. There's one, but the person unfortunately didn't actually put in their code. It's okay, everyone, it happens sometimes, you know. But we do have a few champions, and I don't know if you noticed, but Agumon was able to take on Gatomon or Tailmon. They were able to take on Kuagamon on their own, so so, I don't know, I suppose they have a chance, but that's only three, which means that I'm going to do a couple more of these. That'll b bring us up to, um, I guess 161, right? And then we'll round it out with some community fights. Our first code comes in from Flipmon X. They sent us the very beautiful, the very fierce Witchmon. I think Agumon will be all right. I mean, come on, they're vaccine. Witchmon's gotta be virus, right? I would, at least I would assume she's virus. Here we go. Agumon versus Flipmon X is Witchmon. Yes, there's that full, oh, wow. Nicely dodged, Agumon. See, we probably easily could have been taken out with that as well because of our HP pool, or I guess rather lack thereof. But no, we're, we're being accurate. <gasps> Agumon. See, now I know there are some Digimon that are just better than other Digimon, at least as far as these devices go, but I didn't realize Agumon was such a powerhouse. Um, I'm avoiding the word overpower just to be polite, but yeah, kinda. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks, Flipmon X. Our next code comes in from Alice. They sent over Dobermon. Again, Agumon is a vaccine, Dobermon's virus. I mean, if they're not virus, I'm gonna be really surprised. I guess explain to me the eyeball legs and tell me why that's not virus. Uh, that's, that's my only defense, though. Here we go. 
Agumon versus Alice's Dobermon. Oh, is that gonna go? Wow, Agumon, you're so accurate. I guess that's really all you need, right? Speed and accuracy. Doesn't matter, you know? Like, strength is great and all. Strength is romantic, even, but it, it's certainly it's certainly all it takes, right? It's just some patience, some perseverance. Oh, that might be it. Oh, Agumon. The Dobermon almost turned that around on you really hard, but man, Agumon's like a judo master. That That is counting toward victories, right? Hold on. Just want to verify that. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah, it is. Let's do one more, even though we're good, but still, as long as I have a list of champions submitted, I want to do one more. This third and final code comes from Little Siri. This one is also a Dobermon. Now, I'm curious to see how this fight will go, because, you know, the code's different, right? Like, when it comes to Digimon, a Dobermon's not just a Dobermon, right? That's Little Siri's Dobermon. That's Alice's Dobermon. It makes a difference. So, I don't know. I guess let's just see if something changes. Here you go, Agumon. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a stark contrast, isn't it? We could get wiped out here. <gasps> oh, oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just 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 don't get hit, I guess. Is that it? Did you do it? Oh no, we need one more. Oh come on, <laughs> you do your best. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, Agumon turned uh, that one around. God. So we're seeing here that little series Dobermon packed a little bit more punch. Interesting. I'm so curious about what actually makes a Digimon different from the other ones. Mind you, I kind of don't want to know because like I said, I get a little sensitive to reducing Digimon to just data points and spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff. I find it interesting, but then I find it kind of takes away from some of the magic and the mystery and then I, I don't have as much fun. But well, anyway, we got our 50 victories. We've done what we set out to do. If all is well, if I can get Agumon's effort all the way up to full... Wow, we don't even have one effort. I, I, guess, I guess I should get on top of that. If we can get them up to full effort, and I haven't made, you know, more than one care mistake, because I'm apparently allowed one, and I did definitely make one the other day because I woke up late and Agumon was all like, Hi, I'm starving and I my muscles are atrophying. No call sign, though, which, you know, means that's I've done it. So hopefully that was just one care mistake and not two. But, you know, worst case, Agumon's going to evolve into something, or if they don't, we can always just brute force it with Joe Gressing, so I guess don't worry too much about it. Oh, Freetramon slash Burning Greymon, you didn't really get much of a spotlight today, did you? You only lost one of your freaking efforts? I believe with them, they just need to be level four, level four to six, and I've already achieved that, so don't worry about them, they're going to evolve just fine. But it's gonna be pretty cool, because when Agumon evolves, not Burning Greymon. When Agumon evolves, they're going to evolve straight. This is just something straight out of the freaking anime. They're going to evolve straight from child to ultimate. That's what this evolution is. That's what this 50 victories thing is. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. If Maybe if things turn out right, Burning Greymon and Agumon will be able to evolve at the same time. I don't, I don't know. It's a little game of catch up, but I like that we have those options. I think it's really nice. Well, I'm going to keep filling in this boy's effort because everything else is, you know, supposedly... Hopefully, well and good. Hopefully, you're all well and good as well. Take care of yourselves, okay? Fill that effort meter, but you know, don't push yourself to fill it up all the way. I guess in life, I would say avoid becoming a Numamon, but even Numamon have their charms, right? I guess just feel comfortable in, in your skin is the idea. I know that's easier said than done, but I, I don't know if, if Numamon can do it. <laughs> Maybe there's hope for us. That's all for today. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting this channel. If you go to patreon.com forward slash Moose and Joe, there's always a link down below in the description. Then you can also become a supporter in that way to help me continue making this channel and continue helping it to be what it can be. But I would like to particularly thank our bigger patrons. Those would be Shifter Dog Trainer 89 and Ketsy Fluff. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.